And you are sure we will have those defense batteries up and running? No, 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 no. I'm not sure. They're in bad shape, Del. Really bad shape. I I'm already using duct tape and spit to keep the station from falling apart, and you want me to pull a rabbit out of my hat? I don't want to hear excuses. I want to hear that it's going to be fixed. Period. Get it done. All right, all right. I'm on it. You want to quit standing there and hand over the conduction grid data? Ah, perfect. I'll take that. <laughs> Dependable as always. Unlike some people we know. Oh, that's real funny. All right, listen up, because I don't want to repeat this twice. We've gotten word that UC Sysdef is massing somewhere nearby for an attack on the key. While we prepare for their arrival, I want you to head straight for Bannock 4 and bring Crix's legacy home. Just slow down and listen before you jump the gun and ruin everything. Lay it out, Jess. All right, first things first. I'm gonna upload this data you snagged from Jennerdyne into the Keys databanks. All you need to do is build and then install a conduction grid module onto your ship. Oh, and if you haven't already, you'll need the comp spike module installed as well. Wait, I, I should take notes. Once your ship is ready, jump out to Bannock 4, board the Legacy, and bring us the cash. Exactly. I already have one ready for you. After you board the Legacy, be on the lookout for two transfer modules. They're special keys that allow access to the ship's vault. Once you locate the vault's control center, hook up the data core, and download everything they've got. And before you get any bright ideas, like running off with the money, that currency is going to be heavily encrypted. Only a genius like Shinya will be able to crack that encryption. So bring it back here right away. Yeah? I sure hope so. Look, I'm gonna make this real simple for you. If that money ends up anywhere but the key, I will hunt you down and pry it out of your dead hands myself. Now get moving. Come back with Grix's legacy. Or don't come back at all. I need to get those defensive batteries online, so make this fast. Not a problem. Conduction grid data is all set up in the system, so it should be an easy install. Oh, yeah, nothing like changing it up to make a ship feel new again.
I woke up in the middle of the night once and found kids. I heard we might see some action soon. All support ships have arrived, Commander. Good. After we're done here, arrange a briefing. I want all of their seals over here as soon as possible. Yes, sir. There you are. Where have you been? You mean your latest excursion to Neon? I've received the reports about your little foray into Genadyne. Last piece of the puzzle before you go after Crix's legacy. Which means it's time to put all the cards on the table and prepare to attack the key. Thanks to your evidence, we are finally able to convince them to task us the necessary resources. Before you jump to Bannock 4, I need to make one thing abundantly clear. The credits from that Gal Bank transport cannot reach the fleet. You have to bring them here at all costs. If Delgado gains access to those resources, we might be touching off a battle we can't possibly win. We've been monitoring the Crimson Fleet's comm chatter and the Crick system. They're gathering allies by making promises based on your success. As much as I hate to admit it, UC Sis Death won't stand a chance. The fleet will become stronger and more unified than ever. Believe me, that's the absolute last thing I want. I have the scars to prove it. Exactly. That's why it's imperative that we double our efforts and take them down once and for all. I've always known that when it came down to it, you'd do the right thing. All right, I guess this is it. Do whatever prep you need to do aboard the Vigilance, and then head out to Bannock 4. When you return here with Crix's legacy, we'll begin the attack. Good luck. Stay focused and be careful out there. Those pirates are gonna look like fools when we take the legacy from under their noses.
Somebody else beat us here. Crew recording initiated. All right, the system should be all set up. Just shout out when you want the computer to record. Should work for everyone. Okay, fine. Now, give me the bad news. The bad news is that our engines and craft drive are destroyed and we're drifting toward Bannock 4. Wait, doesn't that put a smack into Bannock EM field? We hit that, every circuit on this ship will overload! Easy, Simmons. What's this be about? Huh? She's right. We end up in that electromagnetic radiation and we're dead. Hey, there's no need to talk like that. It's Simmons' first time out. Can't you see she's scared? Yeah, Bakara, pipe down. You aren't helping. Everyone stop. Right now, we all need to take a breath. We're in bad shape, but I need everyone alert and level-headed so we can figure a way out of this mess. Osterholt, you're my engineer. Give me options. We don't have any options. Kellner and I need to work on a shielding solution. Fixing the propulsion isn't even on the table. Fine. You two get on it. Simmons and Bakara, I want you to walk the ship and give me a full damage report. Mayfield, see if you can help Aguilar with that arm injury. Let's move out, people. Crew recording terminated. initiated. I just wanted you to know I placed a commendation in your record, Aguilar. Really? Why? Crew recording initiated. All right, so how long has Bakara been locked in there? <sighs> I'm not sure. A week? Maybe more. All I know is that he took some food packs and his duffel into the head and locked himself in Crew recording initiated. Hello? Hello? Engineer's message said they set up some kind of a recording system. Well, the red light is on, so I guess it's working. It's been a few days since I docked with the Legacy. For the time being, I'm stuck here. Every system on my ship, including... Crew recording initiated. Full house. Damn it, Mayfield. You must be cheating. There's no way anyone can be that lucky. Oh, yeah. I'm so lucky. Tell you what, I'll trade all that luck for a sandwich. Deal? Yeah, sure. It's been, what was it, three? Oh, two weeks since the food supplies ran out. If we had sandwiches to trade, we'd be eating them ourselves. <laughs> Simmons, go get some rest. You sound awful. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna take a nap or something. I can't even read the card anyway. Sorry, everyone. Can't keep my eyes open. It's okay. Go on. I'll come check on you in a while. Crew recording initiated. I wouldn't go near Ulster Holt. He's drunk and he's got a pistol. Oh my god, are you alright? Tell me exactly what happened. I was bringing Oster Holder's food. When I got near the Craig Tank vault entrance, I found him sitting on the floor. Bottle in one hand, gun in the other. Did he say anything directly to you? Anything threatening? No, he just stared at me and kept drinking from the bottle. The gun wasn't even pointed- Crew recording initiated. It's... Day... 20 since supplies dried up. And here I am, staring at an empty poker table. Our last game. After Simmons passed, we kept trying to get together at least once a day for a game to keep our minds off of things. Kellner and Leong were the next ones to uh, step away. They wanted to be together at the end. Then it was just Mayfield, we played for hours. Now I'm alone. I just wanted to uh, leave this recording for anyone that finds the legacy trapped above Bannock 4. That's all. I'm going to deal myself a few hands and call it a day. I miss you, Trembly. And... I'll be joining you soon. GB Legacy. Signing off. Crew recording terminated. Recording initiated. All right, it's recording. So like you were saying, that's all we have left. If we stretch things out and cut our rations in half, I'd say we'll be out of food in a week, maybe nine days. How do I do it, Kellner? How do I tell everyone we're all going to die? You don't have to. Everyone knows. They're all making peace with it. Bakara and Osterholt knew. They simply chose to handle it by giving up early and taking their own lives. Look at all that money down there. Millions of credits. <laughs> Completely worthless. With all of that, I could buy another ship. Fly us all out here. I wonder if Galbank will even bother to send word to my family. To any of our families. Captain, listen. You're not at fault for what happened. Those ships came out of nowhere. The fact that we've lived this long is a gift. A miracle. Which means we should enjoy every second of the time that remains. Right, Cronin Kellner? My thoughts exactly, Captain. Come closer. I... I need you to hold me. Crew recording terminated.
for access approved. Please stand clear of the door. Tidy fortune here. They stopped using these things, I don't know, decades ago.
swear they were just here. Gotcha.
recording initiated. I think it's recording. You can start this now. This isn't active yeah, sure. industrial sites. <laughs> it would be advisable to wear a damage hard hat. Bulkhead A01 is damaged. Junctions A01 through B02 are offline. Uh, hell with this. What's the point? Half the ship's torn to shreds. We're just wasting time. Wasting time? What are you talking about? If we don't assess the damage, how are we going to get out of here? You still don't get it, do you? We aren't getting out of here. Captain Leong's just giving us busy work to keep our minds off the inevitable. No, no way. Captain Lee's one of the best transport captains in the fleet. She'll get us out of this mess. Yeah, but Leong isn't a magician. <laughs> We're in over our heads. Even if someone comes up with a plan to block the EM field, you're an Ulster Holt. We've got no engine. We're not going anywhere. Yeah, but Galbank's going to want all these credits back, right? They're going to send someone to find us. We're way off the shipping lane. Our escorts were completely destroyed, and we can't send any communication. You do the math. God damn it, Bakar, I don't want to hear this. Just read the damage report and let's get back to work. Read it yourself. I'm going to go get wasted. I suggest you do the same. Crew recording terminated. other things to do anyway. initiated. Well now, let's see. Another day's gone by. What's it been now? Six weeks. Crew recording initiated. Son of a bitch! Nothing. Complete waste of time. External communication detected. Automated recording system activated. Legacy, come in. This is Issa Melant. Are you there, Legacy? Holy shit. Isa, is that you? Isa, I I'm here. I yes, I can read you. Jasper Creeks, you're still alive? You always were one tough son of a bitch. 
Yeah. I'm alive. No thanks to you. A month? Really? You left me to sit here and panic for a month. We said you'd wait a week. Cops! Wait a moment. I, I think broadcasting from outside the EM field is interfering with my comms. Did I just hear Jasper Creeks the Great admit that he was panicking about something? Yeah, yeah. Uh, how about we cut the crap and you get my ass out of here? Come on, there has to be millions of credits here. We're rich. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to pass. Right before you left, remember how you temporarily placed me in charge of the fleet? Well, right then, I decided to make the job permanent. <laughs> All I had to do was make some alterations to your sheeting plans. Mainly the footnotes where the lead technician mentions it needs more work. I even paid a tech to ensure a few of your ship's power connections were dodgy. Just... Yet, <laughs> look at you now. Frankly, I'm surprised those shields held long enough for you to make it through the storm. What the hell? You can't do this to me. I'm in charge of the fleet. Crew recording initiated. Well, now, let's see. Another day's gone by. What's it been now? Six weeks. Who the hell knows? Food packs for my ship are gone, so it looks like the clock's running down for me, and Issa wins. What a clever woman. I never saw it coming. I mean, I can't blame her. I was stupid enough to hand her the opportunity. Now the fleet's resting on her shoulders. I only hope she doesn't run the whole operation right into the ground. Crew recording initiated. Son of a bitch! 
Nothing. Complete waste of time. I've tried everything I can possibly think of, and I end up right where I started. Oh, here I thought I was so clever. Thought I had it all figured out. First, fix my ship and get the prototype shielding back online. Second, shunt the power from the cred tank array back to the system to drain the credits. And then third, haul ass back to my ship before the EM field rips apart the legacy. Three easy steps, right? Only problem is, I'm stuck at step one. Every system on my ship is dead, and there's nothing aboard this ship to use for repairs. <sighs> I can't believe I came all this way just to end up stuck here like the poor bastards who ran this ship. <sighs> Actually, wait a second. Isa. Isa will figure it out. I, I told her where I was going for a reason. She's smart. She'll, she'll know something's up when I miss the rendezvous. After all, we're supposed to split the loot. All I have to do is sit tight and wait until she figures out that something's gone wrong. And she'll come here looking for me. <laughs> In the meantime, I should, uh, getting first on trash to my food. I could be waiting for a while. Crew recording terminated. Currency transfer complete.
no going back now. Report to the operations center immediately. in my sights and I just fall over. I'd hate to be the one all that scout get me. Everyone's saying this is it. Let's put an end to this pirate scum once and for all. My God. Is that it? Is that Crix's legacy? <sighs> Amazing. Ensign. Take this and enter it into the data core analyzer. I'm on it, sir. You see, Lieutenant? I told you he wouldn't let us down. I have to admit, I'm impressed. Encrypted or not, that's quite a lot of money to be carrying around. <coughs> the temptation must have been excruciating. Well, you came through. Now, on to other more pressing matters. We received confirmation that the fleet ships were scouts sent to probe our defenses. Unfortunately, one of them grabbed, jumped away before you arrived. Which means that Delgado will have the Crimson Fleet prepping defenses of its own. Now get ready. I think Delgado already suspects what's happening. That's the plan. Lieutenant, if you wouldn't mind explaining our strategy. Yes, sir. The Vigilance is equipped with the latest in hyper-resistant shielding, making it the only ship that can safely approach the key. The catch is that the key has access to three orbital defensive batteries that can fire electromagnetic energy. One hit, and we lose those fancy shields. Our mission is to take out those batteries. In fact, I'll be personally leading the assault on Battery Alpha. I need you to be my support. But you won't be alone. This is where all your hard work gathering evidence pays off. Based on what we sent them, the leadership at Mass granted us an additional squadron. I've dispatched those ships to Battery Gamma. After we take out Alpha and Beta ourselves, we'll move to assist them. Ideally, we'd have enough to take on all three at once. But this will have to do. We've also given you a call sign, Renegade, to help coordinate our movements during the attack. Once those batteries are destroyed, <laughs> you board the key and bring Delgado to justice. You won't come quietly. You do what you have to do. That's admirable. But I don't think anyone in the Crimson Fleet, especially Delgado, is going to see things that way. I know this isn't easy for you. You've spent countless hours bonding with these pirates. And perhaps on some superficial level, you consider them your friends. But remember who you're dealing with. Pirates, criminals, and thieves. They won't think twice about killing you. So don't let some misguided mercy be your undoing. Well, this is it. After years of planning, it all comes down to this moment. All my hopes and my best wishes go with you. Good luck. If you have any last minute questions, now's the time. Good. The more you find, the stronger our case. Perfect. Taking her out of the running is going to seriously damage the Crimson Fleet's hold on Neon. Even better, that's one less fleet captain and one less ship to worry about. Have any more? Benjamin Bayou, pride of the Free Star Collective. The authorities there have been trying to nail him for a long time. Bringing us proof that he's been manipulating Jennerdyne from the shadows is pretty tasty stuff. The FC <coughs> will pay dearly for this. 
Good job. Anything else? Perfect. Komiko's wanted for corporate violations in UC territory. But having concrete evidence means we extradite her and nail her to the wall. I'm sure we can arrange a prisoner trade with the Freestar Collective. Make it beneficial for both interested parties. Find anything else? That's a hell of a story. I still can't believe Crix ended up being marooned on the legacy. All that wealth, and the only thing he could do was stare at it. Can you imagine? I almost feel bad for him. He must have driven the guy crazy. Have any more? All right. Keep up the good work. Don't worry. We'll be laughing about this over drinks when we get back.